it's allergies, but my skin on my eyes has been freaking out. So it's a little tough to do eyeshadow, so hopefully it'll be okay. So I'm going to use, like I said, some new products. So the first thing I'm going to start with is foundation. So IT Cosmetics has this new confidence, confidence in a foundation, long wear, weightless, full coverage, velvet matte finish. And this is totally like opposite of what I usually do. I usually do dewy, medium coverage. This is matte, full coverage. But I'm going to give it a shot. It's nighttime, so you can kind of get away with, with more kind of coverage. So there, they sent me like eight shades of everything in the tan zone. So I have right here tan ginger, tan honey, tan golden, <laughs> tan natural. So I was kind of like a little bit like, uh, I'm a little confused and I'm a makeup artist because there's so many options. They have, some of them are warm, cool, and neutral. So I'm thinking I'm going to obviously a warm. So... I don't know. We'll see, I guess. I guess I gotta swatch it on myself. Um, do a little color striping, which I don't usually do. So the first thing I will do, though, is I'm going to prime my face because my skin is weird right now, like I said. So I'm going to start with this MAC Prime Prep and Prime Skin Refining Zone Treatment. This I only use as a spot treatment on my nose because I have a lot of pores. And it works so good. It's like super, super... Holy Grail status. And then I'm going to put something on my face. So let me just grab a primer. Let's grab this Bye Bye Pores primer from IT. This is kind of old, but it's handy. Oh, no. Okay. It's like separating and doing weird stuff. So it's because I haven't used it in a long time. So, thanks. Might be ready to toss this out. Because when things separate... That's when you know it's starting to go bad. I'm just going to throw that away. Um, let's see. Let's try this one. This is the Estee Edit Pore Vanishing Primer. Okay, this one, the consistency is much better. Okay, so I'm just going to put this all over my skin. I like this one because it's um, moisturizing too. And like I said, my skin is freaking out. I think it's because it's spring. And um, my allergies are manifesting through dry irritated skin like my eyes are really irritated so estate edit is actually no longer um i guess i don't make them anymore i guess it wasn't really a hit so you can't get this anymore okay so since this is a full covered foundation i'm not even gonna put any corrector on i'm just gonna go for it so first i'm gonna use tan hum tan honey and it's warm i'm gonna put a little bit on my hand Got a pump, so it takes a couple pumps to get it going. And let's see what this looks like. So it's definitely warm. Let me just rub it in and see. I'm looking in a mirror that's kind of like right here. It is definitely full coverage. It matches my neck, I think. But I think it might be almost too yellow. So. I don't think I'm going to use that one. I think I'm going to go with a different one. I've got a couple options here. Let's try Tan Natural because, like, this one's really yellow. So, this stuff is definitely full coverage. So, I'm only going to take a little teeny bit of it out. Okay, this one has definitely more brown in it. Almost looks olive -y, actually. So... I think that's a better match. See how it's super light, bright yellow, a little bit natural. Okay, so we're gonna go with that one. That actually surprises me because I thought I would have gone with a warm. You don't know till you test it out, right? So I'm gonna wipe that off. Excuse all that luggage in the background. I'm packing for my cruise, which is in T minus. Which day Friday? It's um. About a week away, but I'm leaving early to go to California to visit family. So I'm leaving on Tuesday. So I have to pack and make sure I'm ready to go and over the weekend. I've, I'm, a, I'm honestly going to be real. I've been packing for a couple weeks, but like finalizing the packing. Okay, so I am going to squeeze this out. Um, one. Let's start with one pump. And I'm going to take an IT Cosmetics brush, might as well. 
and I'm going to, what I always do is I spray my brushes, like, because I have a little bit of dry skin, this makes the brush kind of float on my skin a little better. So this is Pixie Rose Glow Mist. I really like it. It smells so yummy. So I'm just going to paint this on. Do you see how it goes such a long way? I'm like, I just dipped it once <laughs> and it's already covering my whole face. So, wow. I think I only really needed half a pump. Wow. <laughs> I'm like fully like, wow. Okay, so I'm just kind of like rubbing it in. So obviously I can put more on, but I'm going to start with kind of a medium finish first. Just kind of like my comfort zone. And this brush is like rounded and kind of dense, so it definitely puts it on full. So I think this is a pretty good match. It's a little bit brighter. Hmm. It's a little bit brighter, but I can make it work with like highlight and contour. So what I like to go back in once I have the full face is I like to focus on my cheeks, which is where I think I need a little bit more coverage. It's Cause um, my forehead doesn't really need a lot. Cheeks and my like temples, that's back in the day when I had really bad acne is like a really young preteen that's where i had more of my acne scarring so i heard like some of the reviews of this foundation were that it tra transfers which i'm like Ugh. um and then some people love it so i'm gonna see how it works for me i'm gonna put this on my dry a <laughs> eyelid yeah you can even see like it's like uneven like the texture Ay. all right let me look up close because i'm looking at like a faraway mirror I'm going to definitely have to bronze it up just a little bit, but this is definitely matte full coverage. My little eyelid's so effed up. Um, I'm going to be honest, I don't love it on my skin. I feel like it shows kind of like the texture of my skin, but I'm going to work with it and see. How do you, what do you guys think? I don't know. I don't know. I think what I need to do is get a darker shade of this, which my tripod is sitting on the box, so I'm going to lift you up. Let me grab a darker shade, and I'm going to hit the perimeter of my face with this. Sorry, tripod. I had to lift you up. So this one is called Tan Warm W. So this one is darker. And I'm going to show you on my on my hand that you can kind of see the difference. See how it's darker than that one? Look at that. These are all considered tan, but variances of it. So I'm gonna hit the perimeter of my face with this, just to kind of bring back the brown in my skin. No one said you can't use foundation to highlight and contour. A lot of women of color myself included we are in like we have two different tones in our skin a lot of times we're lighter in the center and darker on the outside and i definitely have a darker forehead like i've always had a darker forehead so it looks kind of weird when i go light up there i think that looks so much better okay so let's keep working with this so i can actually try to use a lighter shade I'm going to use tan golden and use that as a highlight. Why not? So I'm going to swatch this on my back of my hand to show you the color. Like I said, these are all, oh my god, these colors are so different. It is so crazy. Like, look at this. One, two, three. Like, these are all considered tan. So I'm just going to pop a little bit under here. Like I said, this is super full coverage. It's almost like a concealer. I need to hurry up, I'm dilly-dallying. But I think I'm gonna go pretty simple with this makeup. I'm gonna do a red lip because I'm wearing all black and I need some color. And like a simple eyeshadow. I just really wanted to show you this foundation. Okay, so still have a lot extra. And I'm gonna switch brushes to a smaller kind of under eye brush. 
Ay, ay, ay. I am just still tired. So, thank the Lord my parents came to visit today. Because I have been managing Bella on my own these last couple of weeks. And, um, I am so sleep deprived. And, like, I was literally, like, on burnout status. Because my mom is usually here to help me. And I guess I kind of got used to it. And I'm with the baby all day, all night, because I only work, right now I was only working two nights a week as I'm um, teaching. So it's just so hard to entertain a baby all day and all night. So my husband, he babysits while I'm at work, so he takes time off from his, like, evening gig to do that. But, you know, there's still five days of the week. So he has been very helpful, I'm not going to lie, but I'm so burned out and baby has not been sleeping through the night she's gone through like a regression so yeah all right I don't think that really brightened me up but I did add a little more coverage to my eyes so I'm gonna set this with like a banana power from Mafra so I'm just gonna get a fluffy brush that's small and oh my god there is so much foundation all over my hands because this is so much product so anyway so this vacation coming up is um about 10 a days Headed to California, and then we're going to a cruise from Long Beach to Catalina Island, which is in California, an island off the coast, and then to um, Ensenada, Mexico. So this is our first big vacation with Bella, so I'm really excited about that. This is It Bye Bye Pores Press Powder. So I've been packing for myself, Bella, and my husband. So it's been a lot more than normal. But you know I love to pack <laughs> for trips. So I definitely plan to do a cruise packing video. I just hope I have time. If not, I'm definitely going to do it on the way when I come back. Because there definitely has been some research gone into learning how to f fly and travel with a car seat, a stroller, and all that stuff. So... Alright, so now I'm going to bronze my skin with some MAC Give Me Sun MSF. I like to use this big MAC brush. This is the 174. See how it's big? Because I can really quickly hit my skin and bronze. So I'm really trying to make an effort here because I haven't gone out in a long time. And I want to feel cute and I want to feel like not a mom. Not that it's a bad thing to be a mom, but I just want to feel like a person, not just a label of a mom. So I'm going to make an effort here. This is the L'Oreal Paradise Enchanted Blush in this shade 190 Bashful. This is like from their like kind of cherry collection. Like remember when everybody had cherry, like Naked Cherry from Urban K. L'Oreal had a cherry collection. So these blushes are really nice. See how it's pretty subtle, but it's like it goes on really smooth. So I've lost so far 22 pounds on by doing keto in about two months. So it's been really going well. I lost most of my weight actually in the last two weeks. It was a slow start for me because it was kind of like overeating, I think. And then once I started to watch my calorie intake, then the weight was coming off way quicker. So I'm really happy about that. I know I'm going to gain weight on this cruise. It's like not even like a question because I have gained weight on all cruises, but I'm still going to try to eat clean. I'm definitely going to try to eat low carb and low sugar, but in terms of keto, you have to eat high fat. And I think that's going to be harder because, um, sorry, I hit the tripod because high fat is hard to kind of find like avocados and salmon and coconut oil and stuff like that so plus I'm going to California to see a lot of Filipinos so I know you know if you don't know anything about the Filipino diet it's all about rice and like heavy stews and stuff like that so it's not I know it's not gonna kill me because to be off of the diet for a week a week and a half but I have made such great progress that I'm like, kind of like, oh, sheesh. 
because I am finally in my, the 140s again and I haven't been in the 140s since I got married three years ago and that's when I was like on freaking boot camp. <laughs> like I was like fitness, like all 110%. So I'm kind of like, ah oh, man. But I should just enjoy life and enjoy the vacay and the eating. So, um, wish me luck with that. I, I'm going to try to like um, track what I'm eating so that way I can kind of stay within my caloric limit. But I will probably indulge because I should. Like there's a restaurant called Jolly Bee. Have you all heard of it? If you're Filipino or for the West Coast, you might have heard of it. But it's basically like McDonald's Filipino version. And like I really want to try some of that because we don't have that here in Atlanta. And it's kind of like exciting to see it. I want to get me some Holo Holo. I'll probably, what I'll do is I'll just probably not buy my own, but I'll just like share with somebody. So I'm not eating the whole thing, you know, but I'm still trying it. It's all about portion control, right? So these brows are coming out kind of dark. Do you notice how my, my hair is like lighter? It went a little lighter with my hair and I really like it. I like the shorter hair. I like the color. It's so much faster to like do my hair with it being short. Cause my hair has been like mid, mid back for like, on um, like long. Yeah, for like the longest time for so many years. And it was kind of like a little bit of a comfort blanket, you know, but now that I have baby, like she be pulling on my hair. She's pulling on it. She, you know, plus I don't have time. Just, I don't have time to like blow dry like 10 pounds of hair, you know? So, not perfect, but oh, okay. They all pass. It's dark out anyways, you know? So then to lighten them up, I'm going to go in with a lighter brow gel. By the way, that was tart. Um, brown mousse in medium brown. So then I'm going to go in with Anastasia Caramel brow gel because they do need to be lined a little bit. So I'm going to comb this through. That looks better for sure. I really love this brow gel. The color is just so good. And it lasts forever because you just need a teeny bit. See how now it's kind of softer? Okay. I'm going to play with, um, I don't think I'm going to contour more of this because like my face is thinned out a little bit so I don't have to do as much work. <laughs> I think I'll play with these Juvia's Play Shadows. So I already have foundation on my lid so I'm not going to do more than that. I just noticed that this blush palette has such good, um, has a really good dark contour colors in it. Is it an eyeshadow palette or blush? It's a blush. Look how deep that color. Oh my god. That's amazing. And this color right here is so good. So if you're looking for blushes for deeper skin tones, I get so excited when I find them because you don't find them often. So I'm going to use the um, Masquerade Mini Palette right here. This has like kind of these purpley shades which I want to play with. So I'm going to keep it pretty neutral on the lid. I'm going to just use, oh my god, I have makeup all over my black dress. <laughs> I'm going to use um, something in the crease first. Just like um, a crease definition type color. And I'm going to use this color called Burkina. These are pigmented, I already know, so I'm just going to have to like tap it just barely. So this is me just kind of defining my crease and making my eye look bigger. I love this crease brush by um, Sugar Bell. I had a brain fart. So you guys know I worked with Sedona Lace brushes for a really long time. And I don't really talk about them as much because they kind of fell off. But the, they are, the company has kind of had a comeback. It has new management. It was bought by um, a friend of mine. So I'm excited to see what comes of that. And I will keep you guys posted because it was definitely all about Sedona Lace for a long time. Okay, now I'm just going to take some highlight tones. So I'm going to take this one, Makita. 
I'm just going to highlight my tear duct subtly. Look at that. See just a little shine on the inner corner. Because I'm not trying to do a lot with the top, okay? Maybe I'll put um, Dahia and Giza. That's a pretty name, Dahia. Just mix it so it's a little less um, white and so I can put it on my brow. Okay, we need to do a time check because I need to leave by 9 o'clock. Oh my gosh, I have like five minutes. Okay, so I'm going to do on the lower lash line kind of like a purple tone. So I think I want to smoke at the bottom because like I'm doing a nude top. So I'm going to take this color called Miss Fortune. It's an old MAC eyeliner. Like, hello old. It's kind of like a burgundy-ish plum tone. And I'm going to pop it on my lower lash line as a base. Because when you do kind of like a color, you want it like a little base to stick to. I have to go over it a couple of times because it's not coming out. Okay. And then I'm going to take the palette and find a color that will go well with that. And the color I'm going to choose is Zobo. This is really pretty violet purple. And I'm going to stick that under here. Okay. Using a small smudge brush. I hope this doesn't look like I'm giving myself pink eye with this color on the bottom. Okay, so that's looking kind of weird. So I'm going to go in with a darker purple shade called Makita and kind of blend those together. So Makita is right here. And I'm going to blend those out. So my plan is to do a purple on the bottom, some balm lashes. So I left the cap off of this eyeliner. Oh, dang it, it's dried out. I knew it. Oh man, this was like my favorite. Let me see if I can use uh, the pencil side is all. All right, bye bye. The pencil side is all out. So I'm gonna have to go to the gel liner. The reason why I don't wanna use this Inglot gel liner is cause it's kinda dried out. So let me go ahead and make sure my brush is kind of like dampened. So that way I'm gonna clean it with my Perion's Peanut Brush Cleaner cause then it kind of makes it a little oily and it makes the brush, the um, gel liner work better. Okay, so wing on the top. This is an e.l.f. brush. I'm kind of like going over it because it's like not, this liner is not cooperating because it's dried out. But this e.l.f. brush is nice. It's got a really dense like precise kind of head which is exactly what I want for gel but because this gel liner is dry it's giving me problems I have a new one I just haven't opened it yet okay not bad next eye I'm gonna use some um, I'm gonna wet this brush again because this is dragging on my eye. Then I'm going to use some cocoa lashes from Lady Moss Beauty. I love those lashes. They're like my fave. And I've been using like the same two styles, which are cocoa and goddess for like so many years. But recently during a sale, I picked up some new styles and I really like them. This line right here kind of got jacked up, but I'm going to save it. I'm saving you. So I haven't worn full makeup in so long, like I kind of feel weird. I think I'm going to wear this one, which is called Muse. No, yeah, I'm gonna wear these, Muse. Okay, they're kind of like a little fuller than I'm like, I was trying to do, but girl, girl's not out. I'm going for it. So this dress I have on is kind of like a billowy kind of tent style, but it's short. So I'm going to wear like some like over the knee boots. I think that will kind of sass it up, but it's loose. So <laughs> I just didn't feel like wearing something tight. 
I'm just not ready for that. So even though I've lost a lot of weight, I still have the mom pooch, that little extra skin and fat there, which I'm definitely going to have to find like a workout routine to help get rid of that because it's just not going anywhere. Okay, so let me pop these lashes on and then we're going to do a, a, um, a quick lip and I'll be done. So this is a great option, like if you're in a rush, you don't want to do a lot. Just do kind of like a smoky, fun color on your lower lash line. Some bomb lashes. Right? Right? And then like a fun lip. So it's really just two elements that are kind of like take some time. Okay, so for the lip, I think I want to go... My lips are so dry. I'm going to have to kind of like exfoliate them real quick. For the lip, I'm going to do something kind of vampy, something with a purple tone to match the eyes. But not like purple purple, like more of like a violet -y kind of tone. Let me exfoliate these lips real quick. Okay, I'm going to take this really dark purple. I'm going to make it nice and sharp. It's called Alkaline from Urban Decay. The reason why I, I take a dark lip liner like this is because it really vamps out the lip color. So, I'm wanting the lips. Okay, and then I'm going to take a lipstick, and I have one that I think I want to use as like a classic. And it's MAC Rebel. You guys remember this one? Love it. So I got that kind of purpley tone I want. Okay, so it's got a pretty kind of match to the the top. I mean the the eyes. It's catching on like some dry skin right there, but hopefully you can't tell. Okay, so I'm not going to set this because I don't want to. Um, I don't want the foundation to you know, get some help. I want to really see if it transfers. So, so far it looks very matte and it doesn't look like it's going anywhere. I did use powder to set it. Okay, so then I'm going to come in really quick and blend out this lower lash line with some bronzer because I it's looking a little random. So let's go in and just kind of soften it. Okay. And then I'm going to be so lazy and wear a hat because I don't feel like doing my hair. My hair looks okay because I blew it out with my Revlon. Um, you know, those big brush um, volumizing blow dryers. So it looks fine. But I'm not going to curl it or anything. So what I'm going to do is take this old hat from H&M. It's kind of witchy. Kind of like boho. Kind of like hipstery. But it makes me look like I tried. Okay, and this is the final look. How does it look? Do I look like, do I look like, you know, I'm ready for a girl's night out? So, ta-da! I feel like kind of witchy with this all black. But I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Um, make sure to check out my blog, MakeupByRunRun.com, for a full post with pictures and all that good stuff. And until next time, I hope you guys have a great night. Ciao, Bella.